he was a very humble man and he did a lot in his time. He started his career in Subiaco and he played about 70 odd games over there and then he came across here to Melbourne as one of the Foreign Legion back in 1932 and he uh, won their best and fairest in 1932 and he was equal runner-up in the Brownlow medal to Hayden Button of all people who won three of them and he was in their 1933 Premiership. He's in three teams of the century around Subiaco and South Melbourne Footy Club and he's also in the Hall of Fame for South Melbourne so it's a good play. You don't think about him much but you know he's quite proud of him, quite proud of him. He started his coaching career uh, in 1939 with Paran. He sort of fell into it pretty well because he'd had the experience with, uh, with playing for South for, you know, six years, and which helped a lot, I think, and he probably picked up a lot, of, uh, a lot of stuff from the coaches there. And then he had a few stints at Northcote and he played 101 games there, and then he had, a, he had uh, three years at Moorabbin, got them the first premiership and got Paran their, um, their centenary premiership in uh, 1951, I think it was. That record's been held for 55 years, and they thought it'd never ever be broken, me included. And uh, well now, you know, it's, it's a big effort to get past it again. And he's, uh, Jared's coaching for another year and a half, I think, or two years. I'm not sure what well, he's going to get, 350, 360. I knew he was getting close to the, uh, to the figure of 313. North Ballarat have to come down here every so often to play Coburg, Eston and Frankston. And so I went to the Coburg match and I uh, made myself known to a couple of officials and uh, uh, met Jared then. So that was a big uh, bit of a thrill for me because I knew he was going to break the record. You know, there's no doubt about that. You know, but uh, Dad would be uh, quite happy and proud that that uh, uh, Jared got the got past him. No, he'd be. He wouldn't be uh, crook on it or anything like that. He'd be quite proud because, as I said, he's a, Jared is a good man. And I'm looking forward to going up there on Sunday. He got a lot of those accolades after he passed away. He had a mate who used to take him out to the footy out here at Waverley, the old Waverley ground. And now this particular day, um, he fell forward in the seat in the car and the bloke said, come on, Bill, come on. Uh, he was dead. So he, with all his football career he, and all that sort of thing, uh, he, he's passed away in a football ground. He was well respected, well respected, well respected. He was one of the legendary coaches. As uh, uh, people, older people like myself, they, they say, well, I saw your dad play. And I thought, well, that's nice, you know. Yeah. And he's up there, you know, looking at you and I right now. <laughs>